you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? Hadn't planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No. I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I've made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do, no, but we're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. 4K is a new resolution standard that isn't all that standard. It's got several resolutions that are considered 4K, but the most standard of the resolutions is 3840 by 2160. Or take 1080p and then multiply it by 2 in each direction. So about 4 times 1080p. It's quite the jump from 2K resolutions that have been the king since 2004 with the introduction of the 30 inch ACD. 4K monitors are very expensive, with the cheapest one averaging around $4,500. There is only one affordable HDTV that clocks at around $1,500. All 4K monitors as of this recording require two connections to drive each side of the panel at 1920x2160. These are usually at 60Hz. If you want to run it at 30 hertz, usually you're able to run with only one connection. Excuse me. Similarly, HDTVs usually run at 30 hertz, me? but some of them have multiple connections that allow you to drive it up to 60 hertz. Those HDTVs usually have four connections, one for each quadrant on the panel. 4K monitors that allow you to use one display port cable to run the panel at 60 Hz require the use of MST on the DisplayPort 1.2 standard. The panel will be still seen like it's two monitors, but Hello? you'll be running two sides via one cable. If you want to run the display like it's one display, you're going to require a technology like AMD Ifinity iFinity will allow you to turn two monitors into one monitor using its SLS mode. Unfortunately for NVIDIA users, they don't have a technology yet that will allow you to use it as one display. So if you want to use the display for gaming, then you're required to use it at 30Hz. Four K's increased fidelity also requires a lot of muscle behind it to run. I suggest that if you want to play at 4K, you're going to need two cars in Crossfire or Sly, just for the minimum, especially if you don't want to dial settings down. 4K, I see being the great middle ground between people who like multi-monitor setups and people who don't because there's a bezel in the way. 4K allows for a larger resolution to be used when using a custom resolution. And if you're using a TV, it should still be very immersive because the picture should still be rather large. Since it's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, you can continuously make the aspect ratio of the custom resolution wider and wider to suit your needs. I find this a very cost effective way to get a rather wide gaming setup. The only other cost effective solution that will give you a wider field of view are the 21 by 9 monitors but I personally find their aspect ratios aren't that wide. So it ends up being less immersive than it would have been. Well, this has been a look at the current state of 4K. I hope it gets better over the time. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please go to the widescreen gaming forum.